there's an African proverb that reads, when there is no enemy within, the enemy outside can do you no harm. When you refuse to allow any doubts in your own mind, then no doubts from others will ever cloud your judgment. When you create a strong mind, there can be no other that will defeat you with their words or with their judgments. When you believe in you, you need no other to believe in you. Because others really have no say in who you will become. Only you have that say. Only you can decide if others' opinions become reality or you create your own fate. The greatest challenge and the greatest obstacle any human will face is their own doubts, their own fears, and their own conditioned thoughts. If you want to live your dream, you will have to fight for it. You will have to fight the greatest battles of your life. You will have to battle the external enemy. People who don't believe in you. People who do you wrong. People who put you down. You will have to battle the intimate enemy. Those close to you who might do you wrong, or maybe you assume don't believe in you. Those who want the best for you, but their idea of support is to remind you of what can't be done or shouldn't be attempted. But the worst of all is the internal enemy. You will have to battle what seems like an army in your own head, an army of doubt, fear of failure, fear of judgment, lack of belief. The voices inside the head saying, I am not good enough. I'm not worthy. I want to do this, but I can't. I want to give to those I love, but I can't. I'm not worthy of love. I'll never be able to do this. I am hopeless. I've tried everything. The world is against me. No one believes in me. My life's not worth living. There is no greater pain that can be inflicted on you than your own internal enemy. Your own thoughts will cause you more pain than anyone or anything. They can be likened to a terrorist living in your soul. But when you learn to control and direct your mind, you can direct that internal voice to work for you rather than against you. You get it to work for you by creating a compelling future. A future you will be proud to achieve, proud to live through. You do this by not just having goals, but having meaningful goals. Goals that get you excited to wake up every morning. You do this by understanding what your purpose in life really is. What are you doing it all for? When you know these things, when you work on yourself daily, you can quiet that voice in your head. You can feel good enough because you are good enough. But it does take a commitment, a commitment of daily practice to work on yourself. Cut out something that you spend a lot of time on that does nothing good for your life and replace it with daily work on you. Empower yourself. Set your life up to win. Yeah!